there is news about the sequel to Pirates of the Caribbean, as the latest information about the cast is circulating. There are also new details about Jurassic World 4 and various animated adventures from Disney, including sequels to Moana, Zootopia, and Frozen. Learn about this and more now in this week's Kino Check News. After announcing a completely surprising sequel to the Jurassic World film series two weeks ago, Universal Pictures can't seem to wait any longer. According to initial information, Jurassic World 4 will differ considerably from its predecessors in that the previous actors will not be involved. The main actors from the last Jurassic World films, Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, are therefore unlikely to return, as are the actors from the original trilogy, Jeff Goldblum, Laura Dern, and Sam Neill. The release date also suggests that Universal Pictures is obviously very interested in bringing the sequel to theaters as quickly as possible. It is set for July 2, 2025. This is certainly an ambitious goal for a blockbuster of this size. After all, a script has to be written and a suitable cast has to be found first. Post-production is also likely to take some time, especially in terms of special effects. So it remains to be seen whether Jurassic World 4 is really going to be released on the planned date or whether Universal is ultimately pushing it a little too far. We'll keep you up to date, as always. Hardly anyone was expecting this. Jim Carrey will be reprising his iconic role as Dr. Robotnik in Sonic 3, after all. Carrey originally planned to retire completely from the acting business and enjoy his well-deserved retirement. Fans then speculated whether his retirement would also mean the end of Dr. Robotnik. After all, he and his robot fell to their deaths at the end of Sonic 2. However, the post credit scene revealed that Robotnik's body was never found, fueling speculation about a possible return of the villain. Variety has now finally shed some light on the matter and confirmed that Carrie will return for Sonic 3. A short teaser for Part 3 was released as well, which features Robotnik giggling at the end. IGN also announced that in addition to Carrie, a number of other actors have been confirmed for Sonic 3. These include Jessica Jones actress Kristen Ritter, as well as somewhat lesser-known actors such as James Wolk, Sophia Pernas, and Alila Brown. Based on initial speculation, Brown could take on the role of Maria Robotnik. This would make perfect sense, as Shadow will also play an important role in the upcoming adventure to which the character is closely connected. We're looking forward to further news and the release of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 on December 20th, 2024. Sequel Action at Disney Animation fans are in for a treat over the next few years as Disney boss Bob Iger has announced a number of new release dates for highly anticipated movies. The biggest surprise is probably that Moana will be getting a sequel, which is set to be released at the end of this year already, on November 27th to be exact. The animated sequel Moana 2 is the next project based on the 2016 hit. It was initially supposed to be a series for Disney+, Plus, which has now been turned into a feature film. After a first teaser, a commercial or trailer is currently expected for the Super Bowl on February 11. On June 27, 2025, a live-action adaptation of the predecessor is also slated for release in cinemas, with Dwayne Johnson in the role of Maui. Nine years after Part 1, we can finally look forward to Inside Out 2. The story will once again focus on the main character, Riley, and her emotional world. This time, it will be all about puberty. The release date is June 14, 2024. The Lion King is also returning to the big screen this December. The prequel, directed by Barry Jenkins, will tell us Mufasa's backstory and will also look at how antagonist Scar got his famous Scar. Mufasa The Lion King will be released just in time for Christmas on December 20, 2024. The animated adventure Zootopia about rabbit policewoman Judy Hopps, Fox, Nick Wilde, and Sloth, Flash, will return to the big screen on November 26, 2025. Part 1 was already a big hit, with worldwide box office takings of over $1 billion, and Zootopia 2 has a good chance of repeating this success. The year 2026 has some thrilling projects awaiting for us. In addition to Frozen 3 and Toy Story 5, we can also expect a new Star Wars adventure on the big screen with The Mandalorian and Grogu. Jon Favreau will direct the film, with Clone Wars legend Dave Filoni taking on the job of producer. There are no exact release dates yet, but that shouldn't stop us from getting excited. Good news for all Pirates of the Caribbean fans. According to Hollywood insider Daniel Rickman, work on a new movie in the famous pirate franchise is progressing. In the leading role is Ayo Edebiri. The young actress was recently awarded an Emmy for her performance in the acclaimed series The Bear. 
and is considered one of the most sought-after young actresses in Hollywood. According to insider Daniel Rickman, the new Pirates of the Caribbean project is about several pirates, including main character Anne, who are searching for a hidden treasure. Plans for a new Pirates of the Caribbean movie have existed for a long time, but various circumstances have repeatedly led to delays. In particular, the break between Disney and lead actor Johnny Depp was a major setback. For many, the film series is simply unimaginable without his character, Captain Jack Sparrow. The first attempt to carry on the franchise with Deadpool writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick failed in 2018. In 2020, there were then plans for a spin-off focusing on female characters, led by superstar Margot Robbie. Producer Jerry Bruckheimer confirmed in 2022 that there were even two scripts, one with Robbie and one without her. Then, in September 2023, a message from Craig Mazin, the showrunner of Chernobyl and The Last of Us, attracted attention. He presented Disney with a draft story for a new film under the assumption that the story was actually too crazy. However, the company was impressed and gave the green light. It is not known to what extent this project is connected to the original spinoff idea, nor whether it is exactly the film that Ayo Edebiri is now to lead. It is important to emphasize that the information so far is based on rumors. Disney has yet to officially confirm this. After Marvel's Black Panther and Creed, the next collaboration between Ryan Coogler and Michael B. Jordan is reportedly a vampire thriller. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Warner Brothers was able to prevail as the production studio for the project after extensive negotiations. The great interest in the untitled movie is mainly due to the previous success story of the duo Coogler and Jordan. Movies such as Black Panther, Creed, and the drama Fruitvale Station speak volumes. Their upcoming movie is another original project with hit potential. Although details of the plot are still being kept under wraps, the movie is described as a period thriller set in the Jim Crow era in the southern United States and focuses on the undead. Some sources have also hinted at possible anime influences. Michael B. Jordan has already incorporated such influences into Creed 3. Insiders are reporting that the project is making rapid progress, with production scheduled to start in New Orleans in April. We will, of course, continue to keep you updated on the movie. There's progress. Master director Francis Ford Coppola is back with a first image from his science fiction epic, Megalopolis. The director behind masterpieces such as The Godfather and Apocalypse Now has returned to the world of film. After more than 40 years, his long-awaited passion project, Megalopolis, has finally been shot and could well be released this year. The development of Megalopolis was characterized by countless hardships and obstacles that Coppola had to endure over the decades. Now, however, the epic, starring Adam Driver, finally seems imminent. The general plot of the film is set in a future New York and presents us with a city that has been almost completely destroyed. A young architect now plans to rebuild it as a huge new utopia. However, this vision meets with opposition from the mayor, and a love affair with the mayor's daughter is likely to create further problems. The movie's cast is certainly impressive. In addition to Adam Driver in the lead role, we will also be able to see the likes of Aubrey Plaza, Shia LaBeouf, Game of Thrones star Natalie Emanuel, and Dustin Hoffman. Megalopolis is eagerly awaited. The unconventional director has been struggling with the Hollywood system for years and hasn't been able to achieve a big hit for a long time. We'll see whether this will change with his new project. That's it for today. Be sure to check out our latest movie previews for Deadpool 3 and The Wicked Movie starring Ariana Grande. Thanks for watching, enjoy the Super Bowl and the upcoming trailers. Of course, you'll find all the trailers here on our channel as well.